Good day, this is Tracy Davis with a journey through the Book of Psalm series. And today we are in Psalm 23. Psalm of the, of the Divine Shepherd, a Psalm of David. Now Psalm 23 doesn't have a theme, it doesn't have a, a, I mean not a theme, but a category or a type. And basically it really doesn't need one because it stands all by itself being that God is our shepherd and um, and he's our divine shepherd. So we got a good, uh, I think six lines with some uh, reference scriptures there in between. And so we're gonna get through it, Lord's will, and let's go to him in prayer. Lord God, we just thank you for this opportunity to come before your throne, Father God. Thank you so much for bringing us uh, through this day, Father God and given us this opportunity to be able to, to dive into your word, Lord God, and to, um, to, to see what you have to say to us and, and to read this psalm. This psalm has brought comfort to so many people, Lord God, uh, during death, during uh, destruction, during loss, um, and just feeling lonely and without. And this psalm has comforted so many of your people, Father God. And Lord, as we expound on it today, we ask for your revelation, for your guidance into this beautiful psalm of comfort. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started with line one. The Lord is my shepherd. I should not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Okay, so that's the first stanza. This is just a, a three stanza psalm. And so let's go back to line one. And we're going to look at some reference scriptures that they give us starting with Isaiah 40, 11. And remember, I am reading from the King J New King James Version. New King James Version. So Psalm 40, 11, that says, He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs with his arm and carry them in his bosom and gently lead those who are with young okay so this is describing the shepherd that he's going to lead the flock he's going to feed the flock he's going to gather them the lambs with his arm and he's going to carry them in his bosom so you know clearly clearly there's no way that god can see us struggling can see us without and not come and aid us and comfort us and carry us during those most difficult times in our lives. And so it gives us, Isaiah 40, 11 gives us a couple of reference scriptures. And I think uh, I'm going to turn to those and we're going to see what it says in Micah 5, 4. And then we'll come back and do the rest of the, uh, the reference scriptures for uh, Psalm 23, line 1. So Micah 5, 4, that says, And he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord and the majesty of the name of the Lord, his God, and they shall abide. For now he shall be great to the ends of the earth. And so this is talking about the work of the Messiah. Glory to God. He shall stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord. And what is majesty? Dignity and power of a ruler. In the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord his God, and they shall abide. For now he shall be great to the ends of the earth. All right. And then so it also takes us all the way to John 10, 10 11, and 14 through 16. John 10, 11, then 14 through 16. 10, 11 says, I am the good shepherd. 
The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. And clearly he does. And then 14 through 16 says, I am the good shepherd and I know my sheep and am known by my own. As the father knows me, even so I know the father and I lay down my life for the sheep and other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring and they will hear my voice and there will be one flock and one shepherd. Glory to God. I just feel like shouting right now because this is a prophetic statement that Jesus has made and that he is a good shepherd. He's our good shepherd and he gave his life for us. He took on our sin for us. He took on our punishment for us. He took on death for us. And look what he said. Look what he said right here in, in, in 16, in verse 16. He said, and other sheep I have, which are not of this fold. And so remember, he's teaching this to the, the disciples and those who are around him during that time. And John recorded this, these words Jesus said. And so in other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, who is he talking about? Those who will believe in, those who will believe in him afterwards. He's talking about us. We were not of that fold back then, but we are of the fold now. Those who have accepted Christ into their hearts to be their uh, Lord and Savior. And so he said that, and he said, them also I must bring, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock and one shepherd. And if you have accepted Christ into your heart to be your Lord and Savior, then you heard his voice and you came running to him and saying, Father, what must I do to be saved? Whoo! Right there. I mean, we could stop right there and just end the whole the whole psalm. Because I'm telling you, I'm I'm about I'm about to flip this table. But anyway, instead of flipping the table, I'm gonna flip this script. 